Hello everyone, I am happy to welcome you back on our channel for another video. Today we are doing the next episode of the Sponsor Development Series. Team Tokev, Rusty Cornfall, Jack D. Post and of course JD McPillar, the next gen racer which has been available in the next gen racers 4 pack and the Piston Guard Race 11 pack. This is the 11 pack version by the way. So, yeah, let's take a short look at Rusty Cornfall. He was in the same um, collection that I bought one year ago as um, Ralph Carlo, that's why he is a bit damaged, but I think it's okay. Yeah, he has a determined expression, as you can expect. He bl has blue eyes, and there is the toe cap logo hitch protector, and I like this um, cap here very, very much. That looks nice. Although it it looks similar to the collect uh, the connector to a, a trailer for a car. <laughs> yeah. On the side, his racing number, which is four, so a very low number. Um, there are many piston car sponsors. He has black rims. Is painted in mo mainly blue. On the sides, there is also a bit um, white and this yellow line on the bottom part going around the whole car yellow as well on the spoiler and his number is yellow again so number logo logo although it's um, rather a lettering um, um, than a logo he has a grill yeah so that's it for him we continue with Jack D Post that's the Case E of 2019, um, Thailand version variant. Yeah, he smiles. Also has a grill. There is a big, big toe cap logo again. The hitch protector, which is now not under but above the main part of the logo, so um, the title. He has brown eyes. The number on the roof. There is again a logo. Now the original logo, so I think it's better we compare them from the beginning on. So you see there is the original logo again, but it doesn't look uh, it looks more vibrant now. And of course a bit grainier as this is um Thailand variant. But um the cap itself looks more plastic now. 3D and here is just 2D. That's a change. And the hitch protector is very very small. And then the toe. Here again the logo. On the side. Whoa, I like his um his design here. So am I right that there is a kind of purple as well? Yeah, there is purple. There is purple. I love this this part here very much and the colors are so fluent from blue to violet and then to white there's again the cap black rims again he looks great i like him very very much and now there's the next gen racer of the team of course jd mcpillar kind of bored expression no, it's no bored expression, it's this I am the champion, I am the boss expression. Not evil, but also not determined. No, it can't be a determined expression. For that it looks too boring, too bored. Yeah, so there um, is his grill, of course, he's sparkling by the way. And there's a nice logo now. So you see this cap here? It still exists, but in a in a very weird way, actually. If we compare it there, you see that it may be the same. There's even this uh, white upper part, uh, yellow upper part on it. <laughs> very, very nice. And then here, not a straight the toe cap. The hitch protector um, part is missing on him. Number four. And there is a yellow stripe on the roof which hasn't been there on the previous racers. Also this um, lighter blue sh 
blue color isn't on the can't be seen on the original ones and is there even a black one or what color is that here ah it's gray of course hmm interesting and on the spoiler toe cap the little logo on the side again oh he has a yellow line in the rims that looks nice and they are great Number four. Oh, I what I like very much on him is that his number four is so fluent with this blue. Let's drive again. Some sponsors. So the side has changed, and every one of them seems to look very, very different. By the way, so you see, um, there is nearly nothing which can be compared uh, to be similar so you see here a white and blue there is also a bit purple and less white and it's fluently um, changing and there it is blue and yellow great wow so you see there is much difference uh, on all of them by the way I haven't seen when the light grip when uh, has turned switched off. Ooh. Uh yeah. So the number has stayed the same. The logo has changed. But by the way, he has a logo. So there are some racers, uh, next gen racers, which don't have the logo. So um, if we think again of Little Talky Pistons, Spiky Phillips had no logo anymore. Only this piston was. Um, move to his side so you could see it but a real logo like here hasn't existed anymore hmm and here we have a completely different logo so um that looks more like a computer graphic but i like it i like it very much so in my opinion who is the favorite my favorite I think I need to decide this before I'm doing those videos because I can't decide again. So there is... Okay, maybe it's not JD McPhillip because I'm not a huge fan of this um, yellow. Looks a bit boring. I like his sparkling color and also the logo looks nice but this yellow stripe doesn't look that good. And those colors are so simple. Hmm. I like Rusty's design very much. So he has something that looks great. It is his logo and the colors and how they are connected. But Jack D. Post, of course, his model is the best. And his design also looks very great. So I can't decide. Um, I'd say my favorite is Rusty. Second favorite is Jack. And... This time, JD McPillar is the last one, which doesn't mean that I don't like him. I like him very, very much. He's a great racer, looks awesome, but compared to the other ones, he's not my favorite. Of course, feel free to tell me in the comments which is your favorite racer. I think I'm saying this every single time in my sponsor development videos, but no one is telling me. So. Please say me which is your favorite. I'm happy you watched and listened to this video. Thank you very much and I'll be right back soon with another video. Until then, have a great time. Bye now.